Yes, here we are with Hillsborough on a Wednesday morning and right about this time I always talk to uh, Martin about uh, what's happening in the culinary world and also uh, give him a pass on all your questions as well. So if you've got a question from Martin this morning, it's the uh, usual numbers. Our text number is 87 or if you'd like to give us a call, 07491 and let me open up the emails just in case that uh, there's a an email in as well. Okay, uh, Martin, good morning to you, first of all. Morning, John, how's things? Yeah, very good, and very I good. have to be very careful now about uh, how I do this this morning, because we've been filmed. We're been You're going to put yes. this up on the... Uh, we're going to put it up, um, we're going to, I'll click the link on to uh, the Highland Breakfast Facebook page, and right. everybody wants to take a look and see, um, there's a video up of the last demonstration we did as well. Just to show people what you look like in real life. <laughs> in real life. And that's, <laughs> that's going to be on the Highland Breakfast uh, Facebook page, on your own Facebook page, own presumably. Facebook page and press, and press cookery. It'll be up on YouTube. Uh, if you on just, YouTube? Yes, if you just... TV on YouTube. If you just search for Letter Kenny Catering, uh, it's my channel on YouTube, and it'll be up there. Live on the interweb. <laughs> it's, it'll be it'll be about ten minutes long or whatever the bit that you're going to edit is going to be about ten minutes long. But given the way the broadband is in this county, it'll take about two hours to uh, it took three uh, upload hours it. the last day to upload it. <laughs> Just a wee clip to show people. Then. It's going to be something I'm going to do more regular now. That if anybody wants to send me questions, what we'll actually do is uh, fill in the answer and put it up, and they can take a look at it. And see. Right. Just to prove to people that it's all. Uh, pre-recorded and uh, carefully edited and uh, no way live could, <laughs> could, n could never take that chance anyhow let's move on to the questions now and oh, let's see i love meringues but can never make them properly what's the best method we've touched on this before meringue a couple yes, of hints a couple of hints uh you're talking about between 25 and 50 grams of sugar for every egg white make sure you've got fresh egg whites don't be using eggs that are sitting lying about the kitchen separate your egg whites make sure that there's no yellow or no yolk in the egg white and put the egg whites in the fridge for three to four hours to let the egg whites chill down and that'll make them whip up more have a nice clean bowl don't use a hand mixer it'll take you all day use an electric whisk or an electric mixer with you know the whisk attachment make sure the bowl is clean put the egg whites in start to whisk them in the clean bowl and they'll start to rise up the bowl add a wee dash of lemon juice to it uh, some people add vinegar, but I don't like that flavour myself. Add a wee dash of lemon juice to it, and then slowly add the sugar in. And as the sugar, as you add the sugar in, uh, the meringue will rise up. And do measure the sugar out for it. If you're making a uh, real stiff meringue, you would add more sugar, up to 50 grams of sugar for every medium egg white. Work it that way. And then you can pipe out your meringues uh, onto silicone paper, or just spoon out wee blobs of meringue onto a piece of greaseproof paper, silicone paper, and bake them in an oven at a low temperature, uh, 50 degrees in the oven at a low temperature to dry them out if you want real crunchy meringues. But if you want them to puff up and stay soft in the middle, which is like pavlova, you need to put them in the hot oven to make them rise up and then turn down the temperature. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. Anyhow, someone wants to know the best way to make oven chips from fresh potatoes as I hate deep frying them. Yes. Well, you know what? I, I tried this the last day and I made a complete mess of it. Uh, par, you know, cut them into, uh, it, it, was, uh, it wasn't chips, it was uh, wedges, and I cut them into wedges, parboiled them, and stuck them into the oven. Now, whatever I did wrong, uh, they came out a bit of a mess. Did so, classes? In, yeah, it sounds <laughs> like it. Um, okay, so we do a dish up in the cookery school, and it's spicy, uh, spicy rooster potato wedges. And we did it coming up to Halloween, and we had a wee bit of fun with it. So we get the, a rooster potato or a large baked potato. You leave the skin on, cut the potato in half, then cut each half into quarters and each quarter into, uh, wedges. Eight, into wedges again. So you get eight pieces. So we take a bowl and we put the potatoes into a bowl. We don't wash the potatoes. We let the starch still come out of the potatoes. Don't wash them at all. Okay. We that was my first mistake. The first, well... Of several. <laughs> yes. Lucky this has been filmed now and I can't make <laughs> you the, can, you the can usual e gesture. Can you, that edit, can you edit out my admission to mistakes on, on the YouTube yes, video? Do that, well, will you? Just try and edit nice. the fact that you're only wearing cycle shorts as well. <laughs> no socks. <laughs> no socks. Okay. okay, so you put your potato wedges in the bowl. We seasoned the potatoes then with a wee bit of salt and a bit of lemon pepper. We then took spicy steak seasoning or Cajun spices or chili powder. It's up to you what you want to use. If you're using chili powder, be careful. We sprinkled that over the wedges. That's my second mistake. Second mistake. Yeah, go ahead. 
had to go on to your third mistake now and say, all right, okay. Uh, then what we did was, which was, now some people didn't like me doing it, but we did it anyway. We took a wee bit of powdered food colouring, red food colouring, and we put a wee pinch of food colouring into it. Mm -hmm. And we tossed the potatoes around and we left them sitting for about 10 minutes and all the potato wedges turned a, a bright red colour. You then have your oven, you set your oven to 200 degrees. Okay, you have your roasting tray, you have your piece of bacon, uh, bacon paper or parchment paper or greased food paper. And we sprayed a wee bit of low-cal spray onto the potato wedges, tossed them round at the end and then spread them on the tray. And you roast them at 200 degrees until they're cooked. The secret with oven chips is a hot oven. You put oven chips in a cold oven or a slow oven, what happens is they, they, they just they cook soggy, mm -hmm. but you have to roast the life out of them initially, and then they'll finish through. Par boiling, Mr. Weddle. Mm, yeah, right. that's You've already mistake. started the cooking process yeah. and then expected it to continue on. You know, that's all right. Some people would do that for chips or wedges, but personally, that's the way to do it. Okay. Was that, we were actually asked... Could you use any colour of food colouring? Uh, it was actually one of the girls from the farm shop, and what uh, they want to do was to put in green food colouring to make them for Halloween or make them, you know, to make it something funky for a kid's party. But because they're a healthy option, because we're only using the low cal spray and they were spicy, and instead of using deep fried wedges, and it got the of kids course, to eat them. But the thing is, you see, I mean, looking at uh, food that's green is not going to be the most appetising. That's you know you have to yeah. think about those things. Did I remember your cooking in college? Most of it was green. Most of it was yeah. green. <laughs> yeah. wants to know what ingredients you had in the shepherd's pie that you were serving in the shopping centre on Saturday. Because, because well, well <laughs> presumably, presumably they liked it. Oh, this is your. Sh I presume this is your shepherd's pie that's actually on sale at, 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 at a couple of. So what we do is we buy so lo uh, we buy local mints. We buy mints from the, whatever shop the product is in is where the meat comes from to promote their meat. Uh, it's mints, onions garlic uh, it's cooked off sweated off uh, we add in uh, a tomato sauce to it and not ketchup as somebody said to me it's not tomato ketchup it's not tomato ketchup it's a tomato sauce that's got basil oregano herbs garlic onion through it okay and then we thicken it up with gravy and there's no extra preservatives or additives or anything put into it and it's local rooster potatoes that are cooked and mashed with real butter and salt and pepper all right good Natural, wholesome, local produce. That's the honeycombs, and I buy the right. Martin was enjoying that one. You obviously. <laughs> the honeycombs wet. That, that was hun very good. Yeah, I can but just see people bopping around the kitchen. Ah, oh, definitely. Yeah, that would be that. That would love. I, yeah, there was actually a question that uh, was texted me the last day there. Well, you were on yesterday on Sean's show chatting about reindeer. It's, it's, it's I was on about reindeer venison, and somebody had texted me and asked me uh, it had been offered eight legs of venison, and they, they, did I think that that was too dear? Just then. Very good. Okay. Very good. It'll take, a, it'll take a second to drop, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they actually did get a message back from an, uh, somebody else saying, "No, no, it's too expensive." <laughs> you didn't, <he> didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cal. One up, one now. Back to Martin, back to the cooking. Let's not forget, we've been filmed this morning. This is for a little bit. It's going to go up on the website, going to go up on Facebook and YouTube and who knows what else. So uh, I have to remember to keep smiling. Martin, I can't see your face. Martin, that's not the point. That's not the point. There's always, you're here and here. There's always a smile on my face. Uh, yeah. When a caller makes a lemon meringue, the meringue always shrinks when she takes it out of the oven. Why is this? Okay, we, we touched on this a couple of weeks ago. There's two reasons. Uh, the first thing is that the meringue is too, there's too much sugar in the meringue, it's too moist. And as the sugar is dissolving out and the sugar is running out onto the top of the, 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 the lemon custard, the lemon curd part of it, okay? And that's the reason that it shrinks up, okay? So you've got to put a wee bit less sugar in your meringue and put more meringue on top of the pie so that it does shrink a wee bit. Naturally, things that are in the oven are hot, they heat up, and when they cool down, they contract. So put more meringue onto it, okay, so that it'll shrink. When it does shrink in, it'll fill the, 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 the top the top of the pie. The other thing is we talked as well, that if you put lemon meringue pie into the fridge, the sugar turns to liquid, and this will yield, it'll turn into a syrup, and that'll shrink back from it as well. Okay. okay. Is it a pie or meringue? No, you're right. 
Fair enough, let's move on. And the caller is trying to lose weight and would like to follow a healthy, fat-free, low-carbohydrate menu plan for a few weeks. Do you have any suggestions? Well, that's pretty precise. Healthy, fat-free, low-carbohydrate menu. A few ideas? A few ideas. Okay, so go through the Putting list. Putting you on the spot. No, I know. Go through the list one by one. The first thing was? Healthy. Healthy. Okay, so fresh food, locally bought, knock out the processed food, knock out the salt. Knock out the cling film packets. Vegetables go and for fruit. fresh food. Fruit, vegetables, five a day. Lean meat, uh, brown rice, brown pasta, real potatoes. Okay. Second thing. Fat free. Fat free. Now trim all the fat off any of the meat you get. Look for your fat free uh, meats in the butcher shop. Go to the butcher. Ask him the fat content of his meat. Start to eat more uh, pork chops, uh, breasts of chicken, things like that. There, the cut that you can trim the fat off. To leave it that way stop cooking with oil start using either a, a, a small quantity of rapeseed oil which is lower calories than traditional olive oil things like that there or start to use low cal spray okay and instead of frying everything get a by yourself some greaseproof paper some silicone paper and start roasting your foods in the oven which does it won't you won't need as much fat on it when you're roasting like that there and the low, low carbohydrate there's a lot of talk about this low carbohydrate the thing to do is to cut the bread out okay if you knock the white bread on the head it's high in sugar high in salt and i know there's bakers out there now going through the roof going oh don't be saying that about the bread well cut you back on it because you know what cut back I, on it but go to I the wholemeal end of it. go to the brown mm. end of it the wholemeal end of the bread you know what i mean working that way low carbohydrate we all need protein fat and carbohydrate to survive every day. I mean, average man has to take in two and a half thousand calories a day. Average lady, two thousand calories a day. If you sustain that, you, you'll either put on weight to your ideal weight or you'll lose weight to your ideal weight. Working that way, you know. So do, keep an eye on the potatoes. Um, again, as I said, the white rice and the white pasta. Starchy like, foods. Yeah. We have run out of time, Martin. Thanks, as always. It's absolutely flown no the last half hour, and uh, I'm not going to get to all those questions, so I'll put them aside, and maybe uh, we'll chat to the start next week. And uh, you're out and about this weekend, actually, you're at Hillsborough, and you're going to do some uh, cooking for Christmas. That's right. Turkeys have, uh, and uh, game yeah. and stuff. Yeah, from 12 o'clock to half past four, we have, uh, we're have we going to be cooking their free-range turkey, the gamut they have available for Christmas, and some of my own products and stuff. Sounds good. I'll chat to you next week and Thank uh, thanks to Kira Mackey for help on the show WNS Roller Newspapers and Sean's up next after the news.